right, so let's take a look at some of these early enrollees on the defensive side of the ball. There are three of them that are already on campus at Texas A&M. And Coach, we'll start with a defensive back. He originally hails from Wiggins, Mississippi, and went to Gulf Coast Community College in that state. Uh, this is a, he'll be a sophomore, and that's Justin Evans. Well, what you see here early, and, and obviously when you start talking about safety play, you're talking about your last line of defense. Uh, you know, you get to be a great tackler, but also you have to be a, a guy that can cover, cover wide receivers one-on-one. -on -one. Got a chance to see him here in, in, in terms of uh, being a tackler, and there's no hesitation. It's full speed to the football, uh, gets the ball carried on the ground in a hurry. Another look at him, and again, what we talked about is being able to cover. Great, great job breaking on the ball. You got to be a little careful in the league now in terms of where you make contact right there, but uh, uh, a great job breaking on the ball. Again, you can see him getting involved in the run game early, uh, creating a situation where they think they've got a, a dump off to the back, and all of a sudden the safety shows up and there's no play. Next, we have a junior college transfer in Claude George at linebacker, originally from Lafayette, Louisiana, and Acadiana High School, but comes to Texas A&M from Hutchinson College in Kansas, a junior coach, Claude George, here at linebacker. Uh, Claude's a young man that has some versatility, uh, can play on the line, off the line. Uh, obviously, you see, see here an opportunity to be a great pass rusher, getting off the edge and, and making a big play that results into a safety. Two thirty-five is his size, and he's a junior college player. Does he kind of come in body ready for for the SEC? There's no doubt he's more mature, and, and and that's a big part of it is the maturity. You get a chance to see him in space here. Uh, you get a chance to see his quickness. You see how explosive he is. And again, he's a guy that can play on the line or off the line. You love those big hits. <laughs> And finally, a freshman who is already on campus at Texas A&M University. He's from Cedar Hill, Texas, back-to-back -back state champions. And this is Richard Moore, a linebacker out of the Dallas area. And you see Richard obviously coming from a program that has a lot of tradition itself. Uh, very physical football player, great instincts. Great flexibility, comes out of his hips really well at the point of contact. When you get those guys that you hear state champion next to their name, does that always add a little extra to them? <laughs> well, you know, in, in some cases, obviously, it's a, uh, it's a program where he's used to winning, and, you know, certainly, uh, you know, he knows what it takes to get to that level, and that's always a plus. But it's the play, the play on the field that matters the most, and here's an opportunity to see him run through a blocker, obviously with great contact on the blocker, right to the ball carrier and making a big play again. Now, I'm sure you've heard the comments by now. Kevin Sumlin in this offense for three seasons. They've lit up the scoreboard. They put up yards. But they never did in three tries against your defense over there in Baton Rouge against LSU. Are you ready to share some of those secrets on how you stopped the Aggie offense? <laughs> well, you know, obviously, uh, you know, we had good good players, very good players. And, uh, you know, that's a big key. Uh, you got to have good players to be successful in this league. And that's why recruiting is so important. And that's been basically the task since you landed in College Station is this recruiting class of 2015. But you mentioned you got to mingle with a few players on the current defensive roster. What are you seeing thus far as even after signing day, spring ball is getting closer and closer? Well, can't wait. You know, obviously that's going to be a big, big time for us. It's going to be very important. But the, the big thing you see is you see a group of young men that uh, I feel like it's very hungry. You know, they want to win. They want to be good. And, and certainly that's a great starting point because it's all about their attitude and their approach. It's, it's, uh, it's the will to prepare to win. That's what's important. And uh, I, I think you can see that and feel that here at Texas A&M. Coach, we thank you for the time. Have a good signing day. It's not over yet, but we appreciate you joining us this morning. Glad to be with you.